Hello and welcome to my presentation how you can install Vareos on a Windows machine. The requirements to install Vareos on a Windows machine is of course a computer with Windows operating system and also a PostgreSQL database server is required for the full server installation of Vareos. The installation on the Windows machine is done with five simple steps. The first is we need to download the installation package from the Barrios download server. Secondly, we start the installer. During the installation, we need to select the installation type and fill in the required information that the installer wizard asks us for. And then we need to wait for the installation to complete. Please note that the server components like Director Storage Daemon and Web UI are available for Windows only for evaluation purposes. For production systems, we suggest Linux server components together with the Windows file daemon. Let's have a look how this is done on a Windows 10 64 bit computer. To download the Barrios Windows installer, go to download.barrios.org slash current slash windows and download the 64-bit executable. Start the installer, click next on the web welcome screen. Also agree with the license agreement. You can just agree with the standard installation folder and click next. This is true for most of the dialogs the values are already predefined. One important part is to choose which components to install. Please select the full PostgreSQL installation type to make sure everything is installed on the computer. The next dialog is already pre-filled. You can just accept with clicking next. The same is true for this dialog. The next dialog is to set up the administrative database account. Here you have to enter your PostgreSQL administrative password in order for the installer to be able to set up the database. The database connection is tested immediately. The following dialog also is predefined and has the values for the storage daemon setup. Now you can click install and the installation will start. Just before the installation finishes, you get an information that the tray monitor might be started by hand. At the end of the installation, you can just click finish and the browser will automatically be po pointed to the local Barrios Web UI installation. You can log in with username and password admin. A second way to verify that the installation was completed successfully is to start the bconsole command from the start menu and connect to the director daemon and check that the status director command gives the normal output. Now that we have installed Barrios on the 64-bit Windows machine successfully, let's have a review what exactly was done. First, we downloaded the executable for the Barrios installer from download.barrios.org. Select the installation binary that fits your computer. Currently, we have both 32 and 64-bit executables. After starting the installer, we have first had the welcome screen and afterwards the used licenses of the product were displayed. The next screen shows the selection of the destination folder. The Barrios installer will automatically fill in most settings so that the installation afterwards will automatically work. Usually you just have to apply the settings by clicking next. 
The only thing that is required additionally is the database administrator password that is required to set up the database. As destination folder, please just use the predefined path, which is C program files BIOS. Different install types are available. For our installation, we chose the full PostgreSQL installation type, which will contain all daemons and also the web UI. Other options are here the standard installation type, which is the setup that usually is required if you just want to back up a Windows machine. So this is a normal client setup. There is also a minimum install type that uh, will leave away everything that is not absolutely required. And by choosing custom, you can individually select what is installed and what not. The next two screens will ask you for the client and the console settings. Um, you, usually you just can pass them by clicking next and accept what is already filled in. The next screen will show you the setup, uh, the, the connection parameters for the database connection. Here the database admin password is required. Please fill it in and click next. It will automatically be checked that the login into the database with this password is successful. Afterwards, uh, in the next screen, the storage settings are displayed and usually also here everything can just be accepted and you only have to click the install button to get the install started. Then the installation is performed and on the final screen you can keep the OpenBarrows website checkbox checked so that in the next path after click finish, automatically the web browser will open the web UI. Now that the installation is complete, I want to show, give you some more information what is specific about the Windows version of BIOS. Where are the files stored on the Windows installation? The software itself is installed in C program files BIOS. The configuration files are stored in C program data barrios and watch out these files are stored with Unix line endings so if you want to edit them with uh, the Windows editors please use WordPad because Notepad will not be able to display them in a proper way. The volume files that are created during backups will be stored in C barrios storage. The barrios services will be registered as services in Windows. As you can see here, um, the director service, the file backup service and the storage service and also the web UI will be registered as Windows services and they can be started and shut down as any other service in Windows usually is. The web UI default listen port is port 9100 and the predefined user and user is admin and the password is also admin. The Windows installer will automatically uh, configure the Windows firewall so that the barrier services will be allowed to pass through. Also, uh, the installer will register barriers in the standard Windows software installation mechanism so it can be removed uh, via add or remove software in the Windows setup. Another interesting feature of our installer is that it supports silent installation. This means that the full installation can be pre-configured with command line options so that you don't have to fill in anything interactively. That's all for today. Thank you very much for listening. For more information, please check the documentation on docs.barriers.org. You can always check our mailing list barriers users at googlegroups.com. Our source code is available at GitHub and we have subscription support and consulting services available on barrios.com. Thank you very much and goodbye.